This week's video sees the vet coming to the boat to have a look at Flan. My name's Marianne and I am part-time boater. A few weeks ago, Flan kept getting his claws caught in Peter's clothes and whenever that happens, out come the clippers and Peter clips his claws. However, on this occasion, when Peter looked at the claw, it was it was a hooked claw like that, it was going in on itself, and it had flat side panels, so it's quite broad as well. When Peter did some research on this, he found out that it was quite common in older cats to get ingrowing claws such as this. So he didn't feel confident in actually clipping that claw. He could clip the others if Flan would let him, which he didn't always do. But he really didn't feel confident in tackling this ingrowing claw. Now in the past when Flan's needed care, we've usually been in and around Berkhamsted area and there used to be a vet right near to the canal, about two minutes walk away. The last time Flan went to the vets, uh, we found out that the practice had moved, so I had to go and pick Peter up and Flan and drive him to St John's Veterinary Surgery, which was quite a way off from Berkhamsted, just outside of Berkhamsted. Well, we couldn't do that this time, so Peter looked online and found a veterinary practice that made house calls. So he rang them and was very fortunate to get a 9.30 appointment the next day. He had to fill in an online registration form and give a brief outline of what the problem was. So the next day, Helen and Kirsty turn up at 9.30 and Flan was quite pleased to see them. He went and sort of um, said hello to them and they made a fuss of him and he was very happy for them to pick him up and put him onto the dinette and uh, seat him. They put a towel down first and they gave him a really good going over. I was a bit concerned that Flan had a cold, so they checked for that as well. He was fine. Helen was very good at explaining how far along the claw Peter could cut when he was doing the job himself. It was much further than Peter thought he could go, but the quick of the claw is actually a fair bit back off the tip. So that gave uh, Peter a pretty good idea of what he could do going forward. So Helen cut this uh, ingrowing claw, which wasn't causing Flan any problems at this stage, but if we'd left it, it would have done. And she also weighed him and checked his eyes and his teeth and his stomach. She felt around his abdomen and basically gave him a clean bit of health. The, the age that he is, he's 16 now, um, he was doing absolutely fine. And as I say, he wasn't suffering any ill effects from this ingrowing in claw just yet. So it was all good. The visit took about maybe 20 minutes to half an hour because we were asking quite a few questions. And then when Helen and Kirsty left, Flan was as right as rain. We found all the claw clippings that we could and threw those away and uh, yeah Flan was fine. So much so that he then went straight to the scratching post and had a good old scratch on there. He wasn't using it as much before but now that his claws are clipped he's using it a bit more for, for actually scratching. Helen also recommended getting a scratching panel I suppose it would be that would sit flat on the floor that he could then claw on. We haven't got round to doing that yet, but it's on the agenda. So if you are in need of a vet to come to the boat and you, ha you happen to be in the Leamington Spa area, then positive vet care could be the one for you.
you found this video useful and interesting. Please feel free to like and share it if you have, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you to my subscribers, I really appreciate you taking the time to subscribe. And so, until next week, and next week's video, 